All right, we're back here with little Joe on some rail work. Trying to get him settled down enough to get up on him here and maybe do this first ride. He's a little bit obnoxious today. A little bit defiant. Doesn't want to really comply with the program. So we're just going to have to keep putzing here a little bit and see if I can get him to come around. There, that's a little better. But I need to be able to, you know, make up a set of reins here on him before I can get down on him and ride. And the way he's backing away from things today, I'm not sure that this is going to happen. right away. more. And we're going to go back over to our old spot where perhaps he'll be a little more comfortable. Settle yourself down here, buddy. I think one of his issues is not only being taught a whole lot of backing up and learning how to back up to get away from everything. I think his groundwork was taken at a way too fast pace and got him to thinking that everything has to be really super fast and he has to get himself all wound up here every time somebody gets a hold of him. isn't the case.
still a little better. Still a little bit far away, but I'm making some progress. So that's the advantage the big time trainers have is they have a round pen full of colts and he's riding around in the center, pushing them up against the rail for everybody to get on and go for a spin around the pen with the herd. I don't have that luxury. Once in a while I might have a helper or somebody here at the barn that can help me study these colts a little bit and get their hindquarters up where I can work with them a little easier. But most of the time I'm kind of on my own. And I just don't want to give in sometimes. There we go. Just sit here and wait and see what he does. <clears throat> Just kind of keep him under control here. Keep his hindquarters freed up so he doesn't be able to charge off and get himself really scared. Keep petting on him. And just get him used to the feel of things. Let him walk off when he feels like it, but not let himself get carried away doing it. they'll just kind of go around in circles a little bit until they figure out how to go forward a little bit. <clears throat> but the directions I've given with the lead rope on the ground Should prepare him a little bit for taking directions when I get up here too.
Ausgang. As long as I can keep those hindquarters freed up, I don't really care where he goes or what he does. Right now I'm just getting him to figure out how to move his feet so that he can move them side to side, move his fronts across a little bit like we did on the groundwork, and then move his hindquarters a little bit. And I'm giving him just a touch with my leg to get him to come around there and do that. And eventually, he'll figure out how to go forward. I don't think he's really going to buck or anything. But I like to do it real settled. I don't want him. I could have let him go and just, you know, went along with the flow and see what he was going to do when he took off from the rail there. But by my way of thinking, I don't want to start it off fast and uncontrolled and just, just to get them to move their feet. I'd rather keep them under control, keep them settled, and try and reinforce all of the stuff that we've done with, you know, me being here to keep him out of trouble and pet on him. And I know he's scared and he doesn't know what he's doing, but I want to keep it under control so that he, so that I keep building on that understanding that we're going to keep him. We're going to keep him under control, and he's going to stay with me. And we're going to get through this together the right way, my right way. Maybe not somebody else's right way, but my way. I'm going to see if I can push him with my leg just a little bit to keep him away from going into that rail. And just kind of work my way out here a little bit more. Get him to start figuring things out and how to come around the pen and work. He knows kissing means move your feet, or a little bit of it, but as we go along, he'll start to interpret my legs and my kissing to mean something more than just noises to him.
And I'm not going to go to just booting on him to get him to go forward. I want him to learn how to take a step sideways and unlock his feet and rock his weight back a little bit. up there when I squeeze he didn't quite know where to go or what to do when I squeeze to get him to go forward so the movement from side to side a little bit get their feet unlocked and then turn them loose and reinforce that squeeze after you get a, after you get their feet going a little bit I'm not trying to make a dead-sided horse. I'm trying to get him to move off my leg and turn when I ask him to turn and go when I sit forward a little bit and not have to squeeze and pound and carry on just to get him to go someplace. And I think once he figures it out, he'll get down the road pretty quickly because he's got a pretty good stride to him. As we go along, we'll do more and more. We'll get more rides or longer on the rides. Today it's not going to be very long for his first ride. Just enough to where I know I got him able to move his feet somewhat constructively. Turn when I ask him to turn shut down when I ask him to shut down. And it's all slow and at a walk. I'm not, I'm asking, I don't want to ask for anything more. If he wants to go a little bit faster, I might let him, depending on whether I think he's getting himself wound up or scared. But this is just the very first riding lesson for him on how to get along with me when I'm on his back and have him pack me around and not be upset about it. All the rest of the stuff comes as we go along. just get his head down there and scratch his leg and if he does that that cinch is going to come up and he'll jump forward so we're going to find a spot here where we can probably crawl down in a minute from the fence where he's not going to get too jumpy on me. That was good. That didn't seem to upset him. Sometimes when they go to do that, you know, cinches move a little bit and the rider shifts around a little bit. Sometimes that gets him a little bit fired up. You see right now, He's right at the edge of starting to get tired. I saw that little bit of resistance when I went to turn him to the left. So 
we're going to try and get him settled here where I can stop and get my feet out of the stirrups and get down off him with no fuss. Be able to get his head. Good boy. There we go. Got his first ride in. A little bit uh, touch and go there to start with. Had to work through a couple of little things. But once we got on him and got going, we got him settled down and things went pretty well. So we'll just keep building on that. We'll leave that at a good note today. Let him sweat the rest of the day like I'm doing and stewing and we'll come back tomorrow morning and try her again. See how it goes. Have a good one.